is the V smart controller. So like I discussed yesterday, V smart is your control plane, right? V smart is your control plane. Now in production, we typically deploy a pair or a three V smart controllers, right? So we go with multiple V smart controllers. That's from say of redundancy. Uh, we do not create any cluster of V smart controllers, unlike your V manage. So if you deploy two V manage, we create a cluster over there. But if you deploy multiple V smarts, we do not have any kind of cluster deployed over there. Right, so there is no clustering in terms of uh, vSmart controller. And again, when you deploy your when you deploy your vSmarts, every vSmart will be basically acting as your route reflector, right? Which means that your edge routers will be creating your control connections. Your edge routers will be creating control connections, and these control connections are basically your DTLS or TLS connections. Right, these control connections are your DTLS and TLS connections. And using this control connections, you will be basically able to, you will be basically get getting your control pin updates. So the controllers will form the control connections with your edge routers. Similarly with the vManage as well. vManage also creates control connections with your edge routers, right? So these control connections are DTLS, TLS. And then from the vSmart, we will be able to get the routes. So whenever any edge router is getting onboarded, this edge router will form a control plane connection with the vSmart. And then once the control connection is successfully up, I will advertise my routes to the vSmart and vSmart will advertise all the other routes which have come from the other edge routers, right? So basically vSmart helps you discover the other edge routers. Only after I get the updates of the other edge routers, from the vSmart, then I can go ahead and I can create my IPsec tunnels for data traffic. So unless and until I don't get to know about the other edge routers, I cannot create IPsec tunnels. So vSmart plays a very critical role over here for allowing me, uh, for, for advertising me the information of the other edge routers who are part of the fabric, right? So vSmart helps you in facilitating the fabric discovery. So that's how I come to know about the other devices part of my fabric. And again, vSmart is the it, it 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 is basically the control plane. It helps you to establish the control plane information between the uh, V edges, that is your webtra routers, your ISR routers, and your ESR routers. Using my vSmart, I will come to know about the other routers which are part of the fabric. Distributes your policies, so your data plane policies, your app aware routing policies. All these policies are uh, are getting applied on the Edge routers using your vSmart. So if I write on a particular policy over here in my vManage, this policy will first come to the vSmart. vSmart will see the details of the policies and then the policies will get applied on the edge routers. Right? So basically, depending on what restrictions you want to apply, your policies will first come to the vSmart because vSmart is your control plane. So if you're trying to apply any restrictions, you're trying to configure any SLAs then vSmart should be aware about that. So whenever the policies are being applied, it comes to the vSmart and then from the vSmart, it gets pushed on the edge routers. Again, control pin policies such as multi-topology policy, multi-hop service training. So uh, we will be discussing about these policies in the upcoming class. But again, it's the vSmart who basically takes care about your policies and applying the restrictions on the fabric, right? Again, for redundancy purpose, you can deploy multiple vSmarts. Uh, like I said, these vSmarts do not have any cluster. So every vSmart will have its own IP address. Every edge router by default will form neighborship with two vSmart controllers. So even if you have three vSmarts in your fabric, your edge router will by default form the neighborship with two vSmarts only, right? You can modify this default behavior. You can try to form neighborship with all the vSmarts. But even if I form neighborship with multiple vSmarts at the same time, the updates will be coming only from one single vSmart. Okay, so I will be telling you guys how that particular thing happens in the upcoming class. So even if you form neighborship with multiple vSmart controllers, it's not that I will get updates from all the vSmarts at the same time, right? Other vSmarts will be kind of in, a, in standby mode and there'll be one vSmart who will be active for sending me the updates of control plane. Is this clear to everyone guys?
what is the job of the vSmart controller and again this is a software based controller so you will be deploying this on the cloud or you can deploy it on premises that's up to us the choice is up to us all right uh, there is a question in the chat if vSmart is the control pane why we manage directly talk to the vh so that's basically for pushing the configuration guys so because uh, whenever i apply the template the template can get directly applied on the vh routers it does not need to go via vSmart. Only the control plane updates need to go via vSmart. But if you're trying to configure any template configuration, then that can directly go on the, on the edge routers, right? That's the reason we have a direct communication from vManage to vEdge as well. You got it? Okay. 